Hey, Rick. You're going to have to tell them. Our Suriname sad story. Yeah, it we may have a bit of bad news, we think. And that's why you're looking at our ugly heads today instead of some beautiful scenery. Well, it is beautiful where we are. Yes, but not the, not the current scenery. Yeah. Unfortunately, we may have had a little accident with our terabyte drive, and it's the one that stores all of our vision. All of our vision. The, everything we've filmed, like a thousand hours of what we've filmed. So it's crashed, and not, not the computers aren't reading it. So we have to take it to a doctor soon. So all of the rest of our vision of French Guiana, where we went up the Moroni River to St. John, explored up there, uh, exploring the creek systems and Leading seeing... The children? Ah, oh, the children with the dogs in these villages that we went to, really, really... Anyway, if it comes, we're not counting tell them anymore because if we get the footage back... We'll be right. We'll, they'll see it yeah. and we'll spoil it. Yes. It's Easter long weekend, so we can't access anybody until... Tuesday. Tuesday. And also we're in quarantine, so we're not allowed out until Easter Saturday. Mm -hmm. And uh, we go to the Ministry of Health on Saturday, and then on Tuesday we clear customs and immigration. Little things that we found the, on, on, the, on the crossing. On the crossing. But how about we start with somebody else's idea first? Okay. Uh, this one comes to us from Paul and Kirsten on Ikigai, and their two French crew that they had um, you may recall we said goodbye to them in Cabo, Cabo Verde uh, at the fuel wharf and they had, don't well, try and describe it. Yeah, okay. Um, they utilised the, their gimbal stove and they built, well, they got some polystyrene that happened to be floating by, so it was for free, picked it up, made it the size of the, the cups, bases, um, and but so when they pour their hot drinks, and I think there's always one in the background that does this sort of thing, doesn't it? We're going to cut. But We're on the hunt. They, they, they like what are we lives. looking for? But what are we on the lookout for? Sloth. A sloth? You've got way better eyes than me. Ah, oh, there, got it. Oh, look at him just hanging around. Yeah. Huh. Is he asleep? Yeah. He or she? I don't know if he or she. <laughs> wow. Nice, huh? Yeah, beautiful. Which ones are the which ones are the nasty ones? The three or the two? Uh, I think the three. Three is three is chook. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. That's our second sloth that we've seen now. You saw a sloth. It's up in the tree. It's just sort of... <coughs> just as a heads up, we're in the Marina Resort Waterland in um, up the Suriname River in a country called Suriname. And it's truly amazing resort, but we'll give you a tour of that later. And... Uh, so we, yeah, we'll continue on with our sad, sad tale of losing all our data and uh, yeah, and the things that we learnt along the way. Okay, okay. over to you. Okay, so I start where we um, talking about um, the bee floating by. So it was for free. Picked it up. Lo and behold, they told us it just fitted perfectly. They didn't have to cut it. They used half of their um, stove, I think. Yeah. And then they wed it wedged in beautifully. So they cut holes in the in it to fit the bottom of their glasses and cups. And um, it's my demonstrator here. And um, so when they were pouring the coffees and things, the stove was gimbling, and it was so you could expand that idea on in many um, applications that you could do uh, there. But that we didn't do that. But that sounded such a terrific idea. So um, yeah, being gimbled couldn't possibly spill the spill any contents like uh, what we did. we did or we have half a cup yeah. <laughs> and um, we also started putting non -skid, skid matting around where we would do our service area for serving it doesn't it's not gimbal so it doesn't stop the food thing slipping off but it's a great idea um, to stop the plates from moving around if 
you didn't have that and you're underway, you could just dampen the tea towel and put that down and that would work just the same. Yeah, that would work. Serving, the plates would go slide, 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 which is not a bad thing really because you can chase the plate, but sometimes they got enough momentum to jump over the fiddle rails and crash and smash, yep. unfortunately. So we're down five glasses, two mugs and a plate. So yes, we um, so we've been researching about getting replacement glasses, and we've come across a, a wonderful product. So, and when you see this, you're going to think it's a, it's a little bit more expensive. Well, yeah, it is a lot more, lot, a lot more expensive than other glasses. But considering you never have to replace them. considering we have replaced so many glasses in the last three years, especially at mugs as well, and but glasses and we feel that um, the money invested in, in these which we haven't got yet uh, is going to be fantastic. Ah this this is not a sponsored advert or anything like that. But we will, um, I will put a link down below. Because we think it's a, such a wonderful yeah, solution. I've never seen like we've been around a long time and we've been on boats a long time and this is a product that should have been around years ago. Yeah so, I don't know why it wasn't invented. Yeah. And I was losing my pills, I tell you. I was, it was doing my head in because the through hole fitting drains to underneath our boat. But as the boat was going rocking and rolling sideways, up and down doesn't matter, but sideways, it was forcing a spurt of air. So they'd come out of the, the, the through hole would come out of the water and then come back in and it'd send a, a sh shot of air up and pop the bloomin' plug in the bottom of the sink. So and, our precious and I was, fresh water was going was, back out again. Yeah, I kept on losing it. It was so annoying. And he lost and then his pills. MacGyver here goes to and gets a, a a plastic tub type thing that fitted perfectly inside our sink on the lip of the sink, and I was able to do the wash up inside that with and not lose the water so that was a tremendous so tip. So if you don't so, have a dish that fits, fits to sink, uh, it's yeah. worth an investment and we normally store the vegetables in it in the fridge so you know it has a dual purpose but you know when you times that when you need it when the plug gets pushed out by the rocky rolly air gutch then you can just empty your veggies and get the sink out. Uh, we expected to have the wind on our starboard aft quarter which and the we swirl, which we did, oh, the whole trip never moved, um, and we expected to have the, the swell from coming behind us Sorry. as well. Sorry, better turn that again, I started looking at the cut. I do all the time. No, I really looked in it, thought there was something in it. Yeah, there is. Um, anyway, we, we, we were expecting the swell from our starboard aft quarter, but we had this beam on, every now and again we had this beam on. Um, swell which caused us to rock and roll and we had stowed everything on the port side expecting the boat to be the port side down for the entire trip we were not expecting the rocky rolling this is what I assumed and the stuff that we'd stowed on the port side nice and securely just went whoo, straight over to starboard and remember that time we had that oven stove on gimbal how we always keep those put the trays in there and it was on gimbal and it even worked up enough momentum to throw the door open and the, uh, the, trays, the trays out, out of the oven That's, inside the oh, oven that would have been exceptional but it, there was that sometimes it was that rocky it is yeah. so noisy now our hull is very thick and you do get the wind noises through the rigging yes the harmonizing uh yeah, yeah. Zzz, and the sound of the water rushing past when you're surfing so it is relatively noisy Okay, so I'll just turn the light off. Okay, so I'll just be quiet for 10 seconds and you have a listen to it all. If you're not listening to music, uh, noises going on, then that's all we hear. Uh, but there's noise inside the boat as well from not stowing stuff properly. Like there was always hearing the plates in the sink going ching, dong, 
drinking. Oh. We ended up wedging things with tea towels and... Yeah, and our, where we stow our glasses and our cups in the galley. You take one out. And it'd leave a gap, and the next thing you're hearing, ding dong, ding bang, gash. Oh. So, ding dong, I don't know, I think I'd say that a bit <laughs> We've got a large aft cabin, and we don't have any lee cloths in that bed, and consequently we could not use our bed for the crossing, because you'd roll... <laughs> Roll the other. Roll the other. Yeah. I'm short enough and I do go down there in the daytime and sleep across that. Sideways. Port, 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 port ships. Port yeah. ships. Yeah. So we spent the main of the time going to sleep in the uh, saloon, on the saloon. Uh, Lovely, soft. Not. Not. Couch. And uh, so I would turn our saloon table sideways and wedge myself in between the, the back of the saloon and the table and just wedge myself and then bang I'd go off to sleep. Yep. So um, yeah so think about lee cloths or think about a way of wedging yourself in wedging yourself in because you will rock and roll sideways. Sorry. Sloppy yeah. foods. This was a little bit difficult in that if you have a have a like a casserole or a stew which is fantastic to have and lovely and warm food in the belly etc etc mm. but Lou would be down below and she'd heat it, uh, cook it for us and then pass it up to me on deck and the bottom of the plate would be hot so I'd have to try and hold it or put it on my lap. And again, because of the motion, uh, if you put it on your lap, the sloppy foods would slop out. So, thick, so thicken your sloppy food. How would you do that? We use, for that sort of thing, we actually use instant potato. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, oh, you know that. No, I'd forgotten. Yeah, and I just put, uh, I look at it, the end result, and if it's not um, quite thick enough to serve, that's when I just put whatever amount of, that makes it a bit thicker. So I think we've covered everything, guys, of what uh, we experienced and what we learnt on the uh, Atlantic crossing. I hope some of these little tips help, I guess. We have a surprise, so. Oh, I forgot all about that. Yes. <laughs> Right. Only one or two? No, both. So you might have um, noticed that um, we've now, um, people were requesting that we start up a Patreon page because people would like to help us uh, along our way in our journey, Sorry. like fix our cameras. Uh, so I've got a broken drone. We've got one. We already the broke. Sony camera's gone. Yeah, and we've already broken the, um, we're down to one laptop. Down to one laptop and our terabyte drive. We've got three terabyte drives. And one um, of them we think. One of them's now gone. With all our stuff on. It is difficult, 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 difficult on a boat. Okay. But anyway, so, uh, so yeah. Patreon uh, contributions definitely go to that. I'm going to have to buy a new drone, so that's what I'm next after. Um, it's a waterproof drone called, I've forgotten what it's called. But, uh, but it's waterproof, so, so you can name it in water. So yep. no more so stressing about the boat, drone. If we miss the boat, it will still float. Yeah. Over here. Right. Well, to help. We're about to get wet. To help. It's raining. To help. Well, we saw this is the dry season where we are in Suriname. And you saw us last. We don't care about rain. Anyway. <laughs> and it and it rains four times a day, and it's the dry season. If for a minute. Yeah. For um, a minute. Anyway, to help us kick off, uh, we'd like to um, reward any patron that comes on board um, to go into a drawer to celebrate our crossing of um, the Atlantic crossing in 2021 um, and we've, so for one male and one female uh, we have uh, our Slacia Designs uh, wind cheaters so for anyone including Alan and Lachlan uh, you'll go into a drawer and open for a month so on the 1st of May we're going to draw out um, any uh, patrons that we have names will go into somehow we'll work out something and a, a lucky one lucky male and one lucky female cool. we'll, post, we'll post them off to you so thanks for joining us thank you hope and those little uh, suggestions about what we experienced on the trip across help somebody in the future yeah and let's hope that when you come back next week joining our channel yeah, we've got that we've got footage for you and not our ugly mugs footage from french guyana yeah. yes and, not our and we're mugs. filming madly here in oh, Suriname. sorry i'm just wiping my phone on this lady's 
Look at his winch eater. So, there we go. Farewell, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being part of our journey. Yep, thank you. We do you. appreciate it. Uh, it's beholden to me to say hit like and subscribe. Um, yeah, because we don't do this at the end usually. Because do we don't usually put ourselves on like and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding the bell or something like that. Ding the bell, don't they? I don't know what these young people say. Ding the bell or something. Thanks for being part of our journey. Much appreciated. It's a good day to begin.